do they call you? The King of Boys. <laughs> Three years after the release of King of Boys, the highly awaited sequel to this successful 2018 crime political um, thriller is coming to Netflix as a seven episode series tomorrow, August 27th, 2021. So in this video, I'm, I'm going to be making an analysis. I'm going to be talking about the series, everything you need to expect, the new actors, the new villain, just everything you need to know about the series so make sure to watch this video to the end but before we start pause this video and subscribe to this channel and turn post notification on if you don't want to miss content like this so yes let us get started yes before we start let us do a quick recap of what happened in the 2018 movie so we all know what happened between Eniola Salami, she was the king of boys in the movie and then there was um, Makanaki who wanted to become the head of the table so he, so he made sure he did all he could to take Eniola Salami out of um, as the head of the table you know he eventually killed Eniola Salami's children the adopted one the real one he killed both of them and then he just made her life a mess made her useless she got arrested and all of that but towards the end of the movie we saw that the inspector in charge of her case you know released her made i am um, sorry helped her in escaping so she went to us to settle down and from there she was controlling the affairs of the streets so and also we saw that makanaki was shot in the movie but now after five years in the US the king of boys is back to Nigeria but now I think there is going to be a huge competition on who is that is going to be the king of boys because I can see some new faces some new villains stronger than her in this series so I'm just expecting so much drama from you know I'm expecting a new wave of competition a new wave of struggle power struggle of who is going to be the king of boys so let us start with the old actors that would be coming back in the um series so we all know shola shobo ali is going to reclaim her role as the king of boys in this series yes so that aside and also we saw that makanaki was shot in the movie but it seems like reminis is going to come back as makanaki in the series because before the announcement that it, it will be made a series it was supposed to be a part two so came out by the director of the film of the series released a teaser interpreting or showing or making it obvious that makanaki is going to be back in the series and also odogu malay played by eu bliss in the uh, movie is going to come back to reclaim his role as well he was the one that shot makanaki in the movie so i guess there's going to be a um um what is it called a hit back from makanaki towards him you know for what it did to him in the movie and now also the politician chalashi Bali supported in the movie are akinwande played by akin lewis is also going to come back to reclaim his role. and also yes adi tiger um Enela Salami's right hand man, his most trusted worker, is going to come back also as you know, reclaim his role in this series, also. So, and some few old actors are going to show their faces again in this new series. So, let us talk about the new actors, <laughs> guys. Hmm. I saw one woman, she's bad. That woman seems stronger the way she was talking, the way she was, you know. A charisma it was so strong in the trailer so i'm just so scared that hey I'm, I'm i'm expecting a new wave of power struggle like i said there's going to be a new wave of power struggle stronger than the one we saw in the movie so let us talk about the new villains there in the trailer i saw um a woman or a lady or a woman yes named first lady jumoke randu played by inse ikwe etim she seems very strong you know she was threatening eniola in the trailer and then there there was a um, 
that woman i don't know her name but she seems strong the way she was talking there was even the part of the trailer where she said um is this your king maybe she was referring to shola emenola salami that is this. god guys i'm just expecting so much from that woman i see her as someone that would be competing with enola salami and i just feel like enola salami old enemy would form an ally with a new enemy and they're going to just you know go against her and also yes i saw tony tones she's going to be reclaiming her role too as the young enola salami but now i feel like she's she has power now over enola's thoughts the way she thinks she influences her actions and remember guys in the movie where enola was arrested you know where she was thinking about those that she killed back then to get to where she she was so her younger self came to her you know talking to her that ah you've spoiled everything you were stronger when i when you were young when you were me you were stronger but now you are weak and all of that so that young her younger self was brutal was merciless so that younger self is going to come back to be influencing her in making decisions bad ones because i saw her shouting and you know getting into her head telling her that the only reason why she's trying to come I, th- I think she's going to she's she wants to be um i think the governor also she wants to run for the governor she has not given up on her dream of becoming of becoming um a politician or being in politics something like that because she also did that in the movie but she was um, betrayed by Ave Akiwande, who was supposed to help her get the position, but because they feel they felt like okay, she has a bad reputation as the king of boys, you know, they can't allow her be um, a governor that she will not she will not be accepted or something like that. So, but now she's she still wants she she wants to be a governor. She wants to play the politics game, and now I think she's going to she's going all out to just you know get the post and also i saw um rmd richard mufe damijo playing reverend if i so i don't know if he's the new pastor that would be on the table because in the first one he was um what's this guy's name he's a comedian a popular comedian that plays awusa malam like this so he was the one that was that religious person on the table but now i see richard mufet i i don't know if he's going to be taking up that role or something then there is fa iwara playing dark Banjo. no you know guys in the trailer he was um his question opened the trailer where he was asking like why do they call you the king of boys so i'm looking forward to see the role he's going to play in the series then i saw charlie boy too oh my god guys this series they just pack strong actors you know strong characters in here i just can't wait these strong actors versus only enela salami gosh it is going to make sense guys i'm just so excited to see what would happen and yes the director and the writer of the show of the series is kemi adetiba as we all know no one does it better than her so we we all know that this series is going to be suspense filled action packed everything you need to see in a thriller in a crime thriller guys i just don't know what to say tomorrow come tomorrow i just want to see the series and i have exams to write but then i don't mind i want to see i want to watch hey do not forget guys the series is seven episodes and it would be available on netflix tomorrow august 27th 2021 so do not miss it for anything guys and also yes you know i would ask for your opinion so what are your own expectations for this new series what what are the things you think will happen everything you you just feel you are expecting to see in this series do make sure to drop your opinions in the comment section so don't worry guys when the series is out i am going to i am going to make a review of the series tell you guys why you should watch it and all of that so yes that would be us to the end of this video i will see you guys next time